probably another useless video, but this is to share with you that you can save transfer from PC or Xbox to PlayStation and likely vice versa. And that you do have to have a Microsoft account and that you have to link it to your Sea of Thieves account. So it says here to play, link your account to Sea of Thieves. This requires signing into a Microsoft account and associating it with your account for PlayStation Network. This is whether or not you're linking and you're transferring a save or not. Like in order to play the game, you have to have a Microsoft account. So if you have something against that, you can't play this game. On the next screen, you're gonna see instructions for using a device such as a phone or a tablet to associate a Microsoft account to your account for PlayStation Network. And obviously if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can create one for free. So let's go see what the next screen looks like. So on the next screen here, you could see there's a QR code and then a code on the right. Obviously I blurred them out, but I showed you just a little bit so you know what I'm talking about. So this one here on the left, you're gonna scan it using your camera phone. But if you don't have one, you can just go to microsoft.com front slash link. And when you're prompted with the code, enter the code that you see here on the right hand side and then once you do that you're going to be asked for your password to log into your account naturally if you're scanning it from your phone so that is what i'm doing now i just put in my password on my phone doesn't matter if you logged in through the website like i said now it says welcome back you know my name i'm gonna tap on the let's go that's prompted on my screen on my phone or if in your case, you're on your web browser. And then once you do that, the code you entered has expired. Oh, that's because I took too long. Just give me a quick second here. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I waited too long and it basically said it was expired. So all I had to do was wait a couple of moments and it uh, timed out on this screen, just in case this ever happens to you. And then it generated me a new code, again, on your phone or website. When it says, welcome back, whoever you are, let's go, tap on the let's go. And it says, all done. You are now signed into uh, Sea of Thieves, blah, 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 blah. I guess I can get rid of these, these things here, out of the way. All right. So now that we did that, <laughs> this screen comes up right away and it says, are you sure that you want to link your account for PlayStation Network to Sea of Thieves? This will permanently associate your chosen Microsoft account, even if you unlink it. It's not really a bad thing. No, you can relink your account for PlayStation Network to Sea of Thieves at any time using the associate Microsoft account. It's really not a bad thing at all. So my account details are correct. I'm happy for the accounts to be associated because technically speaking, you don't have a choice but to do this. But in doing this, it's going to automatically make it so that your progress is shared between all platforms. The Sea of Thieves, certain, of course it is. Isn't that a thing, eh? With these online games sometimes, same thing was happening with my tennis game. People are having problems with Age of Water. But yeah, it can happen. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. And basically skip this. And there you go. This is my guy. Top right is my Microsoft name, whatever. You can do adventure. You could do the whole safer seas thing. But there's my guy. I've already been playing. And that's uh, pretty much it. Let me just do uh, an adventure here. Sorry, safer seas. Confirm and assemble a crew. But yeah, I think this is proof enough because like I said, if uh, it didn't link, I would have had to have made like a character and all that. And I already have a character. Like I'm already ready to go because you can create your own character, your avatar, if you've never played the game, right? Hopefully this wasn't too long of a video. Like I said, this wasn't really like a how-to because it's pretty self-explanatory but i sometimes like doing these uh hold your hand step by step because i myself sometimes have a hard time understanding certain things not because i'm dumb but because i'm a visual learner i like to see things done step by step very slowly and 
I'd rather take five minutes and actually get what I need done than watch a 30 second or 45 second video that still leaves me confused or a 20 minute video where I'm still left confused. There we go. I just wanted to show you again, like going into the game, the whole thing. It's probably going to be a bit wild now because this is the official launch day for Sea of Thieves. For all the cheap people that didn't buy the premium to get the couple of days uh, early head start. April 30th is a big, big day. I'm in a private game session. Good for me. Uh, Yeah, like... I think... Yeah, see, look at the gold and stuff like that. Man, I don't have much. But you can see that that I've played the game, is what I'm saying. I've got I've got stuff on me. That that's what I wanted to prove to you, is that my save transfer actually transferred. So as always, if you like the video, go ahead give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support that channel with the algorithm in trying to make me more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, and I'll lop it off, toss it in the ocean. And if you want to subscribe to the channel... Whoops. That's smart. Naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.